welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Omar Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. Forget March Radness, we're already in uh, June. Or about to be. Oh, yeah, when this thing comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Halfway there. Yep, through that. Um, also joining us today is Jacob. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'm fine. Oh, wait, what's that? I see a Totera. I shouldn't be in detention. I'm too pretty to be in detention. Usually the pretty ones are in detention for a reason. Flaunting their um, carapace and whatnot. Hey, ca- he, are, are you calling him an insect? Yeah, what? I don't know. Um, I, I'm just trying to re- remember what does Totera have. And uh, shell? Uh, uh, yes, I have a shell. Yes. A tree shell. Look, <laughs> Look what's Actually, this? a carapace is a hard upper shell of a turtle, so that fits. Mm, yeah, see? Yeah, I, I did Cru- well. Yay. <laughs> Crustacean or arachnid? Yay, I did well. Yeah, I passed. <laughs> I, I don't know. Are you are you calling Torterra an arachnid? No. Possibility. <laughs> Possibility is still there. <laughs> hey, me. In today's episode review, we are going to review the My Little Pony uh how how does they want to introduce themselves? So, My Little Pony Equestria Girls Can't a lot high March Ratness comic. Uh in Oh, how how do mm. it is a collection of three new Equestria Girl story that also includes the fall of Sunset Shimmer from the My Little Pony annual 2013. No wonder I remember the story from another place. It was from there. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so anywho, uh, before we start, first impressions are in order. And Silver, what do you think? Well, I mean, it's mostly just a fun collection of shorts and. Making fun of some more relatable school activities than, uh, what what than say the friendship games. That's just crazy talk, uh, because there's no motorcycle riding, there's no none of that nonsense. It's just them doing athletics, mm-hmm. or serving detention, and making that fun. Hmm. What serving detention is fun. Well, you making their experience fun. I mean, we want to, you share in their misery and the blame game. Uh, but really, all I'm thinking of right now is Torterra evolving and suddenly being an arachnid. <laughs> how do you go? How do you go from a turtle to an arachnid? Let's find out. Torterra is evolving. <laughs> oh no! Somebody press B quick! Oh no! It's too late. Also, because the artwork is made by uh, Tony Cusisto, oh, yeah. better known as Pencils, I'm fascinated by his depiction of Miss Harsh Winnie. Hmm. I, I guess we, we'll go into that later, I guess? <laughs> Maybe. All right, all right. Anywho, um, carrying on. Terra. I mean, I. it's... How do I say this? It's basically, a, like what Silver said, a bunch of shorts that, I, I don't know, like, I can't, I don't know, that's how, how that's how this comic is with me, it's, it's like, a lot of shorts into one book, and it's like, huh? Because <laughs> it's not like it's a story, it's all these mini stories that kind of, I guess, could have been in uh, multiple books, but, I don't know, like, Maybe I'm just overthinking here, but that's just the way I see it with this this book is th- uh, three sh- sh- stories into one. Mm, all right, understandable. And Jacob. Well, uh, we've got three stories here. The first one is done by uh, hold on, Danny Dilyoshevich, which makes me wonder if he's of Slavic descent because, well, the fact that you know, his first name is Danny makes it kind of weird. And I think that's about, uh, I think the first story is about the only thing that he's written for this uh, series. The second and third stories are done by the standard of the uh, series authors. One's done by Christina Rice and the one's done by Tony as well. And Tony's basically doing the art for all three stories. And if you've seen Tony's Tumblr, you know he can draw (coughs) shapes. 
But considering it's teenage girls we're talking about, I'm suddenly hearing the Oingo Boingo song playing in the back in the back of my head. You know which one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm surprised that Tony wrote the last one. And I just remembered, oh, he also writes his own comics. So yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so, anywho, um, as for me, I like this um, comic. This comic was a lot of fun to read in. Uh, just the the art style... How do you put this? The art style took, uh, took a while for me to get used to it. Because, like, oh, wait, what is going on here? What? Oh, wow, uh, this is different. I, I'm not used to this. And after reading through, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm already acclimated to it. But at the same time, too, like, this art reminds me of something. Who was it? Who was it? Until um, you guys told me that it was Tony. And like, ah, yes, Tony. Yes, 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 yes. Now it makes sense. And I, I remember Jacob saying, yes, um... Tony does a lot of risque things on his personal time. <clears throat> so, anywho, if you guys have not watched this or read this special uh, comic yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back! So, we start off the comic with The Girl's in Detention. And Miss uh, Harshwini put them there because uh, they pull a trick on her and humiliated her on the internet or for the entire internet to see oh no that's very bad and they're in there because of that reason and we see the main seven and trixie why is trixie there because that's her home she lives in detention you're there as her guest Mm -hmm. so we see the teacher who's taking care of detention is uh, it's cranky. Yeah, cranky, thank you. It took a while. <laughs> and now we see the blame game or the explanation where uh, the girls, uh, Pinkie Pie blames uh, Fluttershy for releasing her uh, party, destroying gerbils, and uh, them just ruining her decorations. Are they gerbils? And- they look Hems- like hamsters. Uh, pick one, I guess. Well, gerbils have long tails. You really hamsters are. Hamsters have the short ones. Guinea pigs. Uh-huh. But anywho, uh, we see uh, Father Shai saying that's not her fault because it's Rainbow Dash's fault because she used a kickball to kickball the locker and that scared the... Uh, I'm trying to see what kind of animal, but she doesn't say it. And so she scared the hamsters and they all went running in panic. And Rainbow Dash says, no, it's not my fault because we all know whose fault is it. And she blames Sunset. And Sunset's here like, wait, what? Me? Why? What? No, that's not true. Because uh, if it's... Uh, sorry, um, I, I have to explain why uh, Rainbow Dash says it's Sunset's fault. Uh, Sunset was, uh, sorry, um, Rainbow Dash was doing her sports ball thing, and uh, Sunset here was just being a very mean villain and popping a balloon behind her to scare her. Oh! And Sunset here just says that it's true that a balloon popped, but it wasn't really my fault because uh, it was because of. Twilight and Applejack. Uh, I was trying to record a video for Rarity and Sunset's robot bumped into me and I fell onto a balloon and that kind of broke my fall but the balloon broke and scared you and uh, Applejack and Twilight says like oh um, that's not true it's they Twilight blames Applejack, Applejack blames Pinky, and uh, the both of them, well, Applejack says, wait, me? Why? Uh, Twilight just says, I told you not to press the button, but you did, and uh, Pinky, uh, Applejack says, no, that's not true, because of Pinky's decoration, my, I couldn't see a thing and accidentally pressed the button, and 
they they pull the blame game and point fingers everywhere and rarity all this time just reviewing the tapes and she says everybody stop arguing and look at this this is the reason and basically it's a mishap of things happening where nobody's really to blame yet everybody's to blame and uh that's why it happened that way and they they kind of escape detention and prove to Miss Harshwini that it's not their fault but it's also their fault. I don't know how that makes sense. You just kind of um go about it your own. And at the same time too, Miss Harshwini just says sorry girls uh for being a bit too hard on you. I was a bit embarrassed by the whole situation. Um consider yourself forgiven and whatnot and uh, she says okay you guys can go home now and Fletishai asks uh, do, do you think I can get my oh dribble dribble uh, dribble back now and That's why it. why why hasn't Miss Harshwini taken those animals out of her body <laughs> I'm uh, uh, th- there's so many questions going on Silver help That wording was so weird, Norman. <laughs> that wording was quite uh, concerning, I know, in fact. I know. Yes. Did, 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 did it work? Did it work? Yes? Uh, I think it I think it made an impact, if nothing else. Yay. Um, all right. Uh, anything to add before I move on to the next story? Uh, two things on the art. Mm-hmm. First off is that there was apparently a miscommunication with the colorist. Mm. They're using Sunset Shimmer's design from uh, the third movie, but they neglected to give her pants yeah. or leggings. I don't know which. I think jeans. What's jeans, I think? Mm. Well, they were a bit too too tight-fitting for jeans. Applejack's wearing a jean skirt, but Sunset had leggings of some sort. But here in this comic, you see that she is, has bare legs, which I think they had to adapt on the fly because that skirt is pretty short. Uh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But more than that, when you look at the scene of of Rarity standing next to Miss Harshwinny, even Celestia and Luna don't have those proportions. Uh, what? A Harshwini or Rarity? A Harshwini. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would like I, to see you a lot, but no, I have to hold my tongue. I know what you're She's faking, a, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> She's a very mature body type, let's just put it that way. I think that picture uh, picks perfectly right now. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, <laughs> yep picture perfect. I don't know, man. I mean, it looks good, I guess. Well, I'm not saying it looks bad, but I'm just like, you know, in the in the world of pencil-thin Equestria Girls designs, this body type stands out. I'm like, wow. I just don't know why well, you didn't have to include the that... lip biting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, but what can I say? Harsh Winnie being so very harsh, I guess there's got to be some redeeming quality. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Did you just pull a Who is shouting? guy? <laughs> I have to hold my tongue. Uh, anybody else? Um. Go on, be naughty. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna take a step, a step in the dark at the start of the story, so that this wasn't uh, you weren't a fan of this one, because it, it begins with the infamous, as you know. As <laughs> a <laughs> Really? Did, did 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 we go for as you know? Yeah, it, it's a very start. As you may, yeah, as you may be able to. Well, let's see here. What has it got? Normally, I wouldn't explain what the tension is. <laughs> I, um, 
But you know, it makes sense for them because uh, the seven of them are quote unquote the brightest student in the school. So for them to be in detention is kind of abnormal, especially for Saitwai. I mean, yeah, so fresh faces, but usually, uh, as you know, is very hard. It's not a great signal in storytelling. It's like, I don't trust the audience to follow along, so I'm going to spell it out really bad. I mean, wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, gosh darn. I, I feel you, man. I feel you. But at the same time, too, right? Um, when you mentioned there was a miscommunication in the costumes. Uh, was it that bad, or how how was it? Like, um, how bad was it? It's off-putting. Ah. Basically, it's just off-putting. Let's let's see if I can. F- um. No, there's no 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 there's no defending that because, uh, I'm just looking and no, she she didn't have her jeans in or pants in the part where she fall. No no no, yeah. I was going to make an excuse where, oh, she fell, her pants were wet, so she had to take them off. You doubt me? No, no, no. Uh, you doubt my word? No, I'm just trying to... How dare you, Norman? I'm just trying, How dare? I'm just trying to find a bit of logic in this, but no, nah, there's a miscommunication in this one. And you know what? I, I, you... I like it, but until you mentioned that her, what should you call this, dress was a bit too short. And yes, I, I have a wallpaper of that dress on... on and it's totally different. That, sh- that shouldn't be that length. You doubt my word? How very much dare. Oh, no. Carrying on. <clears throat> next. Ep- so much daring. <laughs> yep. Next, uh, what you call this chapter is dashing around. So we start off the comic or start off the chapter with Rainbow Dash snoozing in her bedroom. Her really kind of cute bedroom. We, we see... Uh, cloud uh, curtains, some dolls, trophies, books, and whatnot, and it's full of turtle team. So or tortoise team. So anywho, uh, the radio wakes her up at seven a.m. Uh, tells her that there's a A K Erling signing going on to the at the bookstore, and she better get up now before it's too late. So she. Zooms around, gets ready, and her phone rings, and it's Applejack. And Applejack asks, "Are you up? Are you ready? Uh, remember, you promised to meet up with me and whatnot. And yeah, uh, come on, let, let's hang out. You, you promise and whatnot." So, uh, oh God! And Granny Smith got something, got a surprise for you. And yeah, I can't, can't wait to see you. And. Um, Rainbow Dash walking towards uh, Sweet Apple Acres, just thinking like, "Oh no, um, I want to go to the book signing, but I have I promised Applejack that I uh, help her with some chores at the farm. Uh, l- l- let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do." So she uh, arrives at the farm, and she hangs out with everyone. And hmm, y- you say that. Applejack and Rarity have some kind of relationship. Uh, don't look this way where from I'm where I'm looking at. Hmm. Oh, come on. Don't you bear hug your friend so tight that you lift them off the ground? And hmm. potentially choke you. No, not... You know what, Silver? I have to try that next time when we meet. Norman, I've, I've met you in person. You... Well, no, wait. No, I haven't. Oh, man. No, you met me in person. I met your, I met your friends. <laughs> yeah, I'm at sad. Be- at Babscon. Yeah. I'm sad for not um, being able but, to go. <laughs> but I've seen pictures of you. If you can lift me, that's <laughs> going to be an exceptional feat. Also, your spine will then vacate your body. <laughs> oh, you, you, oh hmm. you know what? We will see. When the day happens, it happens. <laughs> Well, I know for me, I have to be careful when I go to cons now. I hear about this secret society of blue balls running around. <laughs> That's right, mysterious. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Mysterious. Wait, what did I miss? 
So very much. Yes. There's a secret society of blue... What? Blue Pokeballs. Okay. Explain? No, yes? Wait, wasn't that a recording from like a year ago or something like that? They were, yes. they were, but a secret society now? Yes. Yes. Oh my god, what the hell did I miss? So much mysteriousness. Okay. Anywho, let's, let's carry on, let's carry on. <sighs> okay, so uh, Rainbow Dash gets a bear hug from uh, Applejack and Granny Spiff says, oh, uh, when she knew... Rainbow Dash was coming, uh, she prepared her a batch of apple cider, her favorite, and they all uh, catch up, talk about it, and Rain they, they all kind of catch up and whatnot, and Applejack here kind of, uh, sorry, uh, Rainbow Dash here is kind of like looking at the time, trying to not rush things up and whatnot, and... She asks, uh, where is Apple Bloom? I mean, I haven't seen her all morning. And they say that, oh, she just went to the bookstore because something about getting a book. And, oh no, uh, she, this is the thing that Rainbow Dash wanted to do, but I couldn't. Oh no, so sad. So, uh, Rainbow Dash says, okay, um, shouldn't we get doing the chores? Because I want to get out of here ASAP. So she she does the rake, uh, leaf raking, and the three of them. Well, Apple, sorry, Rainbow Dash gets dragged and do a leaf dive, and uh, they do a bit more work like feeding the animals and whatnot, um, harvesting the apples and so on, and Apple. Bloom comes back and shows uh, what you call this uh, shows Applejack and Rainbow Dash that she get her book signed by Icky Erling and um, Applejack says wait what isn't that the author that you like Dash let's head to the store to get your copy signed and when they arrive uh, it's a bit too late because Icky Erling left oh no and um, they talk for a bit and uh, Apple sorry uh, Applejack says sorry because she missed the book signing and whatnot and uh, Applejack summarized that oh that's why you've been running around and whatnot and they, 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 they talk for a bit and Rainbow Dash uh, s sorry. Um, Applejack says, uh, "Why didn't you just tell me that uh, you wanted to do this?" And Apple, sorry, Rainbow Dash just says she couldn't because I promised you help out with the farm, and I didn't want to let you down. But Apple just says that you did let us, you, you did let me down because the whole reason I wanted you to come and help with the farm is because I want to hang out with you. Uh, with the whole uh, school and constantly having to save equestri uh, uh, city from equestrian magic, we, we didn't have much time to hang out. So I, I thought we could have um, time to hang and just catch up. And Rainbow Dash apologizes for the whole situation and just says, you know what, let's just go back to the farm and we can uh, just hang out. And before they leave, they see a Yerding. And Applejack just shouts at Yerding, Yo, Yerding! Could you sign my friend's book? <laughs> and Rainbow... Uh, and she says, Rainbow Dash is your big fan. And... She says, Yeah, sure, no problem. I can sign. And I hope you enjoy the book, Rainbow Dash. And like, Wait, what? Wait, what? What's going on here? She, she managed to get her book signed. Oh, wow, okay. Looks like we know who will be making out later on. Yay. <laughs> so before we move on to the next issue, uh, next uh, 
uh, chapter. Um, Jacob, what do you think, man? Well, uh, the issue is okay, but I really thought that uh, in the, in that uh, page where the, in the uh, sorry, <clears throat> when Rainbow comes to uh, Re- uh, Applejack's farm and they sit down to have a cider. I really thought the Rainbow Dash was only a giant jug of apple cider in her hand from the perspective that it's being shown <laughs> and her hand's visible through. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I see that now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's a uh, okay story otherwise. Alright, alright. Uh, Terra? Although, hold on, although uh, uh, this whole problem uh, could have been easily avoided if she just told the Apple Jack, like, could you, she could wait like an hour or two, maybe. Hmm, understandable. But at the same time, too, uh, Rainbow Dash's whole thing is loyalty and whatnot, and she didn't want to kind of uh, break a promise saying that she couldn't make it and whatnot because of a book signing. That would be a bit selfish on her part. But yeah, I can understand. Better for Rainbow Dash to say she'll be a bit late because AK Erling's in town and I want to get my book signed. Yeah. All right. That's it. All right. Dara, what about you, man? Uh, I, it was a pretty nice, uh, I guess you could say, lesson. And uh, it's like, you know, Rainbow Dash really wanted to get this book signed but helped a friend out. And uh, AJ's like, you know, you didn't have to. And went this. It's like, you know, it's one of those heartwarming stories. It's like, you, you know how it's going to go. But at the same time, it's nice to look back and it's like, make makes you remember if you ever had a situation too. It's like, yeah, you know what? I've been in that situation. Yeah, I, I don't understand. It happens to me a lot, by the way. So, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> boy. Anywho, um, Silver, what about you, man? Well, if you look at this and also uh, Flutter Brother. Mm-hmm. The episode Rainbow, whatever the dimension, Rainbow seems to get adopted a lot. She's sort of a extra sister, at least in uh, in because I guess she's just sort of likable mm-hmm. by everybody or approachable, mm-hmm. or perhaps being an only sibling, she forms a lot of sibling connections. There's Scootaloo as a younger sister. Mm-hmm. There's uh, Fluttershy as sort of the sister from another family. Mm-hmm. And now here, Applejack, it's really getting to hang out with them as the entire family. So I find that very interesting and probably a, a big endorsement because between our review of Spring Breakdown and this, Ra- App- Rainbow isn't getting the best uh, showing. I mean, it's the situation, but at least we, this one here, we, we don't see... Rainbow Dash being a bit fat jerk. It's just that her needs and wants are kind of uh, being the quote-unquote crisis or being the problem here because she wants to get her book signed, wants to meet her idol. And yeah, who doesn't want, right? Like that, That would be awesome. But she needs to hang out with Applejack because she promises. And that's where the conflict lies. And as far as this compared to the previous one, it was not that bad. Well, and it wasn't bad. I'm, I'm just saying it was, it was quick, it was short, it was a direct lesson. Mm. But it does show that Rainbow has a unique friendship with many parties. And that, I, I never noticed that until you mentioned it. But that's true, that's true. You, you can clearly tell uh, that whoever Rainbow Dash hangs, she kind of uh, vibes with them. Um, quibble pants. Like, when, when you look at that, like, you see that uh, they form a bond of friendship because of love for A.K. Erling. But at the same time, too, they just vibe well. Which is kind of rare. Mucho biving. But n- next we have... Also, I I gotta say this March Radness really does focus a lot on Rainbow. I mean, like the, the detention one, that's the whole gang. Mm-hmm. But now we have a Rainbow one and we're about to move into another Rainbow story. Also, yeah. Mm-hmm. That is 
So fascinating. <laughs> that. There are other Equestria girls. Fluttershy never got her focus in a special. Oh, the sadness. Oh, I, I mean, we, we'll see what's going on with Getting Second, uh, written by Tony Kosusko, art by Tony Kosusko. And, oh, man, that's Celestia there. And, mm. <clears throat> so, anywho, <laughs> carrying on. We start off with the issue with the principal and vice principal announcing that there's some kind of spring into sport athletic event where the school student bodies get to participate in some kind of sporting event where they collect points and be the best like there were no one ever was. And we see here that Rainbow Dash is just uh, boasting that she'll get first place, she'll be the what you call this, uh, best among the best, and the rest of the girls say, "Oh, Rainbow Dash, darling, I doubt that you'll be the best this year because we all are going to work really extra hard just to put you down a peg." So they say that the event doesn't start until a month away, so everybody have time to train up for the event uh, and the events are going to be a uh, test of skill and strength of uh, of everyone at Cantalot High, track and field, uh, discus, ping pong, gymnastic, ballet and keep this from being all individual performance to and to celebrate friendship and all teamwork with, in uh, football with a, another school. So yeah, so that's what they're going to do later on. Uh, later in the cafeteria, when they talk about it, uh, Sunset just says, I'm not very good at sporting. Uh, the stuff I did when I was back home was mostly all four, on all four or all with magic. And Applejack just says, <coughs> what are we? We what? The way you said. There, there's a certain entendre that could go with what you just said. I'm just, I'm just reading it, my friends. <laughs> the stuff I did mm. was on all fours, all with magic. <laughs> there, the, Norma, I'm sorry. There's no way to read that line without without falling into the trap. What? You just got to accept and move on. What the the. The line, the stuff I did was on all four. Oh, sorry. On all four. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to say the word legs. Oh. My brain likes to autocomplete. <laughs> so, anywho. Apple <laughs> Check just says, don't worry about it too much. Uh, participation and having fun is what matters. With friends is what matters. And Apple and Rainbow Dash just says, yes, fun, like winning. And see you, slow folks, later. Gotta go practice now. Um, before I carry on, uh, this line that uh, Rainbow Dash says, fun, like winning. Has anybody told, told said that to you guys before? Well, I mean, yes, actually. I, uh, how do I put this? There was a documentary at a film festival about a local sports team that did broom ball. It's where it's like baseball, but instead you use a basketball and a broom to hit it. Oh, okay. And these folks got way, way too competitive. So much that at one point a guy spat in another player's face because he was so mad. Oh, wow. And their argument was look, I know they say. It's just for, in, for fun. Well, I have fun winning. So, like, super competitive. And, hey, I understand that mentality. I I like to win. If I play a PvP uh, game and say, like, Destiny 2, I want to win. This doesn't matter what the KD spreads are if you lose. True. But, uh, so I understand that winning is a very satisfying dopamine-inducing sport. 
the thing is, is it possible to have fun regardless of winning or losing? Because I'll tell you right now, nobody has fun losing. Yeah, especially in card games. It depends on situations. On motorcycles! I mean, it depends on certain <laughs> situations. But um, before I tell you my story, um, let's go around the table. Jacob, what about you? Any, have that situation before? Um, honestly, I can't really remember if there was any. Hera? I honestly can't remember either. Okay, um, as for me, uh, way back in the days when I was an avid Yu-Gi-Oh player. Oh my um, god, Norman's old. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> way back in the days uh, when I was an avid Yu-Gi-Oh player, I uh, used to play at this LGS where, um, you know, we, we play for funs and whatnot, and it was a bit competitive. Y- Yu-Gi-Oh is a competitive card game at its core but I like to build decks that are kind of gimmicky uh, stupid fun and whatnot. and a friend of mine who played was really into uh, building decks that are top tier tier 1 decks that uh, kind of makes you win on the first turn kind of situation and I had a kind of casual deck where uh, the whole gimmick was to burn people down with stupid stuff and like to stall them and so on. So yeah, that that was one of my stupid gimmick decks. And while playing, let me guess. He's, let me guess. He's the one who he's the one who started the game, and it was all right there. Uh, well, uh, he ran a. Ritual Summon Blue Eyes deck where uh, it pierced through damage and his technically he could one shot kill but I was running a uh, final countdown deck where uh, I had a you lot have of to wait tr- yeah you have to wait 20 turns yeah ki- kind of but here's the thing uh, the guy had to pay he pi- I think he paid a lot of life points until he was at 1k just to do stuff. I, I don't remember. So he swung in, hit my face down monster, and it was Marshmallow. Uh. <laughs> so yeah. Did he lose his shit? Uh, he, he was frustrated because he lost the same way twice and they didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but um, during the conversation, he just said that uh, I, I built text for fun, you know, just just for the funds, lols and whatnot. But he mentioned this line, uh, if you're not winning, you're not having fun. Which is kind of... I understand, but sometimes it's not all about the fun. It's sometimes it's about the play. Like, uh, the card game I'm playing right now, Magic the Gathering, Ugh, that's, whole, that's, that's another problem of its own. But... Uh, I play a format called Elder Dragon Highlander or Commander. And the format here is just... Let's see whatever stupid things that you can do with your cards. And let's just have fun, guys. Can we agree on that? And yes, we can. And it was a lot of fun because we did stupid things. And it, we had a laugh. <laughs> we, we had a laugh at the situation. And yes, it is possible to lose and have fun. The, the trying to win part is the exciting part where, oh, I, I want to win and see what happens. But if I lose, I lose. Well, that that, right. that turned into a really wrong story. Anywho, uh, <laughs> we, we see eagles practicing and whatnot. Uh, we see um, Fluttershy throwing discus and Rainbow Dash to trying to... S- Rainbow Dash is multitasking. Good on her. Uh, throwing discus and also ballet, so yay. Uh, we see Applejack teaching um, Sunset Shimmer the sport of football. I'm just or as we in America call it, soccer, because you we came up with socks. a football <laughs> where you don't use your feet quite the same way. We're we're edgy like that, <laughs> America. Uh, just waiting for people to respond to that. Yay. So anyway, uh, we we see, <laughs> we see uh, Pinkie Pie training. Uh, also, is Rainbow. We see 
uh, rainbow doing a marathon in the rain and one month later we see them at the track and them uh, going for a run and see how it goes because uh, Rainbow Dash thinks she's going to win and they, they go and they race and it seems that Applejack won first place in the track and field uh, we, we see that uh, the long jump uh, Daring Do Derp uh, Daring Do Derpy Do Muffins, yeah, right? I, I was confused about that as well. Like when I saw the scoreboard for the run, I was like, "What? Daring do? Why does she go to the same school as Main Six? I thought she was established in the last story that she was a famous daughter." <laughs> I know, right? And then I saw the final score, but I remember that Derp is called Ditsy. <laughs> yeah, Ditsy. Oh, Ditsy do. Yeah, yeah muffins. <clears throat> oh boy, her her name is amazing. I love that mare. <clears throat> All her names. Mm-hmm. And. She, she she managed to get the furthest by 21 feet 2 inches while Rainbow Dash just manages 19 feet 7 inches uh, and we see Fluttershy managed to get uh, through the furthest discus I, I just love the art from Tony here you, you can clearly tell that she's inspired by um, mangas <laughs> with the expression that she's give, uh, that he's drawing uh, we see Fatisha, sorry, uh, Pinkie Pie doing some crazy um, gymnastic stuff on the pole. Uh, we see Twilight being awesome at ping pong. We see Rarity doing awesome at ballet, and Rainbow Dash is just getting seconds all all over the place. And when you take a look, see at the leaderboard, uh, we see that Rainbow Dash is in first place with a total of thirty five points but she has se- uh, but she has no first place medals uh, seven second place and no third place medals and if you guys are wondering about the math on this one I've already counted out uh, gold, uh, a gold medal for first place gets you 10 points uh, second place gets you five and third gets you two and I've looked at the scores and it tallies out so good on Tony for uh, doing the math on this one. Yay! Yeah. Although, I'll tell you the truth, I, I did some uh, sports competitions in high school. Ballet was never a field, never a topic. I'm like, somehow Candlelight High always has the weirdest sports <laughs> as part of their curriculum. Oh, man. Silver, uh, just a random question. Did you play badminton in school? No, I was too. I was too good to be bad at badminton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing no then. No. Uh, so, <laughs> anything else, Silver? You want to add? Because yeah, Kettle High is just cray cray, man. Next thing you're gonna tell me, the Olympics gonna have some kind of esports where they have Fortnite, but you don't hunt people down. You just shoot at a target practice. I could actually see that happening. And it is it is happening in the in the e games Olympics. God damn it! Oh boys. So anywho, can I continue, Silva? Please. Alrighty then. We're we're about to get to the end. So Rainbow Dash is a bit disappointed in herself because she hasn't won gold, and she feels like, oh no, um, I got second a lot. That that doesn't really look good on on me because i'm i'm the fastest girl in school but i'm not getting the goal so that's not great and rainbow that's right and applejack says you did great all in all of the sports we only managed to do well in one of them besides pinky uh what did pinky do uh pinky 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 she got one and wow she got third uh six bronze that's awesome and the girls kind of cheer her up, but it, Rainbow Dash is kind of a perfectionist, and getting second is not her thing. So the next day, they go to get ready. <clears throat> um, Norman, yes? should we be watching this? I don't know you what know, you mean. Um, <laughs> well, um, being the girls rock, uh, in the girls' rock locker room, uh, girls changing clothes. 
I don't know. Should be watching you. this. I don't. Know. Yes, avert your eyes, you pervert. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! You and your gist from this comic. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you yeah. know what, you know what, uh, what are people gonna like, say then? What? What? Tell me. Oh, <laughs> Did you hear that? No. No. It's the Bongo Bongo song. Oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. See, yeah. It's not until Velma that we had a more intrusive action. Oh God, no. You know, oh, I, the shame. I, I tried to watch Velma. I, I, I really Don't. tried to give it a shot. But it, it was so just mean-spirited that it feel like I'm not watching Scooby-Doo. I'm just watching cosplayers doing Scooby-Doo. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, boy. So, so yeah. really, me, you've missed nothing. But first, first scene of Scooby-Doo, I believe. Oh, yeah. Or a uh, Velma, I should say. They try to be edgy, edge. Try to be edgy. Look at the picture. Look at the series. Looking at it cuts you because it's so edgy. Uh. Uh. Oh, you have to have Metal Lips sing a song for you then. Oh, just to make it edgy. <laughs> Don't you watch Velma? <laughs> Don't you watch Velma? <laughs> Don't do it. It was a glorious I have some alcohol. <laughs> oh no, it's Batman. Do you have a lot of land? Oh no, it's Batman. <laughs> no, stop it, Batman. Urr, I'm Batman, taking it into this metal band. Ba da 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 da, Batman. Ba da 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 da, Batman. Jeez. Uh, I miss this a lot. Anywho, uh, we see the girls getting ready for soccer. And Rainbow Dash doubting herself because. She feels like she, her friends are oppressing her, and she feels like she might be just weighing them down. I have no idea. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Um, and the girls are wondering where is Rainbow Dash, and uh, let's get her out of here, and let's just you know um, get her ready. So uh, Rainbow Dash just hides in some balls, and. The girls find her and just cheer her up, telling her that uh, they f feel like they inspire. Uh, she being competitive inspired them to do better and whatnot, just to get to her level. And uh, yeah. And Rainbow has some balls on her. Uh, no, they're just basketballs. <laughs> <laughs> But they, they, they drag her out and I mean, try to get her, um, what you might call this, um, hype for the game. And they, they set out a plan, uh, saying that uh, Apple uh, Fester Shy would be the goalie while uh, AJDC can do stuff. And when Rainbow hears this, like, wait, what? No, wait, that, that, no, 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 you got it all wrong. No, 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 no. And since she knows everybody's strength and weakness, uh, she sets a plan to be, well, the team captain and for good reason. She knows what she's doing. God damn it, Tony. Your art is just... God, Jesus. What? Uh, that, that, that part where uh, Rainbow Dash has a mental breakdown. Uh, the, the art next to that panel. God damn it. Anywho... Oh, sun Sunset saying, wait, what's wrong with that? Yeah. The pose. Mmm, <laughs> the pose, yes. Mm, so, yes, eh, quite. Eh, eh, <laughs> individually. Actually, what what does it... I'm oddly curious, what does it say and on... You, there's a Nuke? Nuko. Nuko. I, I think it could be their Invo Sport brand. Oh, uh, all right. The, on the rear end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, apparently in Japanese, Nuko is translated to cut or soft. Oh, God damn it. I, I, <laughs> I have a... You know what? I'm just going to say that no, that's not it. That doesn't have... There's no relationship to it. I'm, I'm just going to say that. God damn it, Tony, you... <laughs> Well, I won't say anything. I'll just let the voice box speak for me. 
<laughs> and you know, carrying on. Uh, so we see the game going well. And Rainbow Dash is having a lot of confidence in herself and trusting her friends to know what to do. And yeah, uh, they all did well. They all, they all did well. And Rainbow Dash being the... Except, except for the thought bubble. There was a slight mistake. Oh. Yeah, it's basically ah, yes. what the Applejack and Tezo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In fact, I'm happy for my friends. They did really well. Yeah, yeah, you, you showed them, Applejack. You showed them. Actually, I think it, they, those two are so simpatico, <laughs> their thoughts are now transferring between one another. Yeah, I mean... Pretty soon, they'll be finishing each other's sentences, and then the merger shall begin. <laughs> Fun fact, if you take out um, uh, Twilight's uh, jersey number, it's 42. And that's the same number that she got when she was running in the... Running her leaves. Yes, and 42 is uh, life, the universe, and everything. And also the point on her stars. Yes. <sighs> so it all fits. Yes, yes, yes. Anywho. Uh, Illuminati confirmed. Yes. Oh, no. And anyway, uh, let's see... Uh, they won gold, and yeah, Apple uh, Rainbow Dash is congratulating them for a good job, well done, yay, awesomeness. And I'm just gonna end it here because the comic that's followed up here is just a what you call this um, re reprint, reprint of yeah. the annual. So uh, if you want, go check out that review we had on the. Uh, My Little Pony Annual 2013. Yay. Good story, though. Good story. So, anyway, um, let's wrap this up. Uh, final thoughts. Silver? Nuko. <laughs> Actually, I do find it funny that in some panels, the girls have their essentially cutie marks on their shorts, and others not so much. Uh, but... It's a funny thing. I enjoy Rainbow is... Well, oddly enough, Rainbow is doing what Applejack did in the last roundup. Yeah, I was about to mention that. So it was a bit familiar. So a, a familiar story with a slightly different arrangement. Hmm. And Nuko's. <laughs> if you know this right... Uh, sorry, uh, if you know this right... Um, Applejack moving up front while Rainbow Dash designates her as the keeper. That was a bit. Did it or was, was because I I, I didn't remember her having that mental breakdown, saying that no Applejack should be the keeper because she's strong and defensive and whatnot. Ah well. Anywho, uh, carry on, Silver. Well, I, I, are you sure you want me to? I mean, really, I've got very little to say other than the unique branding. <laughs> All right, so, so that's about it? Do you, do you want me to carry on about that? Because I can. When you need tight-cut jeans to cover a soft section. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we don't need to. We don't need to. Anyway, uh... Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> uh, Jacob, what about you, man? Well, uh, I don't really have much to say since we already finished that part. Uh, all in all, it was a fine story for what it was. Hmm. All right. Um, Terra. <laughs> uh, duck. I've, I've evolved from uh -oh. a spider He's bug to now a duck. <laughs> oh, dear. And he's calling the, art the writer a quack. <laughs> But in my opinion, th these were all right stories. It's like, like I said earlier, my first impression, just a bunch of short stories that have good lessons in some, but also have some creepy imagery in with it. <laughs> yeah. But all in all, th th they were very enjoyable. Mm, all right, all right. And uh, as for me, uh, this comic was, or this special was not bad, like, Having a what you call this short story format where uh, we we get to see the quote unquote um, 
slice of life story being told in this format is kind of interesting. We, we see that uh, in the first one, detention was a miscommunication kind of story, and okay, that that's pretty that's pretty okay. Then uh, Rainbow Dash, they're ne- needing to learn to do stuff. The, the story was interesting. The story was okay. There's nothing bad about it. And the last one with the whole sports thing, I I guess it's okay. I mean, it's serviceable. It's very interesting. One of the few things I like about this one is just the score, uh, the leaderboard. Because somehow, I don't know when, but I became some kind of uh, number crunching nerd where I need to find logic in it. And I did. And it was fun calculating and looking at the numbers because, hey, uh, what they're doing is kind of true. And they're not, uh, what you call this, they're not uh, fudging the numbers just to have numbers on board. So, yay, that's cool on Tony's part. So, overall, um, it's just awesome. Like this, what you call this, uh, this comic was just good. I like it a lot. Alright then. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can find us at theambitionachievement.com. Uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can I go to find you? Well, you can find me on YouTube with DeviantArt and Twitter under MLP Silver Quill, that will also have links to my uh, Patreon and Ko-fi if you wish to support after the fact. I also have a secondary channel on uh, weekday puns, which will give you a good chuckle in the late morning. Also, you can catch me on Equestria Daily whenever there's a new comic, and boy howdy, are there about to be a whole bunch of new comics. Oh, I... I... Uh, they're... They're launching essentially three series. Oh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we get the G5 mainline comic, uh, the Camp something comic, and also Wizard of Oz. Yes, Camp Big Big Hoof and the Classics Reimagined Wizard of Oz, which, by the way, I I went to Audible to be like, oh, okay, maybe I should listen to the original books. Well... 22 books in the Wizard of Oz series, 90 hours altogether. So, uh, could you explain to us what the hell? I will as soon as I listen to them. Uh, Check back with me in 90 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I actually make it 180. Okay, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, a, a, a quick short summary. If I'm not mistaken, the first Wizard of Oz is just the thing where Dorothy got sent and uh, she stopped the witch and blah 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 and got sent home, right? So, so that's the base one, right? Actually, I think that's later in the series. The first books are actually about the guy who would become the wizard. Wait, they didn't have. They, there's a movie about that one too, right? Wicked, yeah, 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 which was a play, but there's more. But wait, there's more! <laughs> yeah, everybody gets a brand new car. <laughs> so, oh wow, okay, um. I, I guess we'll catch back with you in 180 hours of listening time. Yay? Probably. All right, cool. And is there anybody? Uh, and is there any book there being read by Ice T? Not that I'm aware. Oh, okay, because Ice T read a book for Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> yeah, but Samuel Jackson read "Go the Fuck to Sleep." <laughs> Yeah, you did. <laughs> and that's not me cursing. That's me cu- quoting the book. I know. <laughs> ah, yay. All right. Anywho, um, anything for the head silver? Uh, well, by the time this airs, I may have already completed Winnie City, in which case I've set my sights on Everfree Northwest and hope to see you all there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's going to be a fun one. Uh, if NW... Is an awesome con if I remember right, uh, and that one would be Seattle. Yes, uh, well, technically Bellevue, but sorry, across from Seattle. Oh, okay, um, shows me what I know, uh, but still, close enough. <laughs> but not close. But no cigar. Oh, well, just so you're not left out, Norman. I did post about the secret society for you, so you're not left out. Yay! Thank you. 
I'll, I'll check that one later. Oh my god, why is he wearing a trench coat? <laughs> Also, uh, Jacob, what about you, man? Where can a good people find you? Uh, you can find me on the DeviantArt under the user, username Yakafon Torkar, under the Twitter username Tales of the Ashes. If you're interested in reading the story Tomo Rising, you can find it on filmfiction.net. And if you're interested in reading an original story featuring anthropomorphic animals in medieval fantasy setting called Tales of the Ashes, you can find it on the Tales of the Ashes.com. And uh, as of April the 3rd, because we didn't have a podcast in like uh, a month and a half, I've now officially been uh, on the MBS show for over a year. Woohoo! Awesome! Yay. Wow, it's been a year now. Wow. 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 It's come a long way. Wow. It's been so long. I've been doing this for how many years now? <laughs> Nine. No, no, my dear friend, no. Seven. <laughs> no, I, I don't remember. I, I'll calculate later. <laughs> uh, Tara. I'm pretty sure we mentioned it some uh, some uh, time earlier when we, I don't know. I, I, I think it was mentioned at some point in one of the previous podcasts, but I forgot which one. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh, Terra, where can good people find you? Actually, before I mention about where the good people can find me, something just caught my eye that I don't know if this was intentional or on purpose, but I do admire what they did in this comic. Oh. Oh, yes. So, Twilight's number is 42. Yeah. And if you recall, in the running of the leaves, Twilight also had the number 42. That's what I said. <laughs> well, then I guess my, uh, my bug metabolism is kicking in. Oh, no. Somebody feed him. Somebody, oh. somebody throw some berries at him. Are they super effective? I don't know. Keep throwing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. But anyways, the good people could find me on YouTube, Twitter, and Patreon under the name Tortero1324. Oh, and I forgot Twitter. You can find me on there, too. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh... If you guys and also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on polyvalive.com. Links are in the show notes. Um Facebook. Yeah, that, that's still a thing, right? The, the the Facebook is a thing, I guess. I'm more concerned about if Twitter's still gonna be a thing. I'm sure I guess. I, I don't know. Um it's there. Nice people use it sometimes. Yeah, but who's going to be in control of it? I, 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 I don't know. Probably some rich guy who drives a spaceship to space. Or maybe some uh, secret cabal of uh, villains who plan world domination. True. Social media? That's a stretch. But who controls the media? <laughs> Anywho, uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a weekly access to review, discussion, podcast, exclusive, and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Uh, talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank you, Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also myself. Like, thank you so much, guys. You are great. So, anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Cecil Vaquil. I'm Jacob. I am the Torterra. And we'll, guys, catch you next week with another fun episode of Yes Show. See ya! Nuko! Bye-bye. <laughs> Adios. How do I even follow up that one? How did you know about that, Silver? Because there's a Zoom feature on Adobe Acrobat, and I'm pretty sure they did not intend it for this use. <laughs> no, stop staring at her. Don't worry, it's just a full screen zoom. I can't see anything but the Nuko. Well, you can see the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's the but button? But there's where's... more. Where's the button? Where's the button? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>